This is Alin from Jablin, continuing to play with the new toys in SOLIDWORKS 2013. I know that I uh, posted quite a few videos and articles on the new functionality of the view selector, uh, but I'm still discovering new things about it. So you know how it works. You press Ctrl space, or you can press only space if uh, the view selector is on. And uh, automatically uh, you get this cube, you can select any facets of the cube, as I showed you yesterday, you can press Alt to select the back faces. But one thing that a lot of people complain about is the fact that, um, let's say you are in a specific view and you'd like to keep this view the way it is and just put the cube on top of it. Well, that doesn't happen at this time. As you can see, it automatically the model automatically defaults in one of the isodiametric or trimetric orientations. So um, what if you want to keep uh, the original view at least as a as a snapshot of where you are. Well, actually, I can do that. I can go through the system options. Let's look for the options governing the view selector. So another great thing in SOLIDWORKS 2013, you can just look for an option. It looks like this is the view selector. And let's uh, establish the transition between the model and uh, that um, ISO orientation to off. And let's see how this is going to work right now. So I'm just going to pan this to the left of the screen because the view selector is always going to appear, appear in, the, in the middle of the screen. And let's press again control space. As you can see on the right, I'm, I'm or in the center I have the view selector, but on the left I still have the original orientation. So yes, I know, okay, so this is the back, that's what I'm looking for. And actually I would like to see how this part looks from this direction. Well, that's what you need to press and you get it from that direction. Thank you very much. Bye.